We have to test whether that would be functional or not, but if it's even partially functional, we have identified an ASO that effectively um, causes that skipping, and we could test it in animals to see, in our same USH animals, to see if we can get some improvement in behavior. I wanted to just really briefly call out about antisense oligonucleotide approaches and the benefits as a therapy because, like I said, I think it has a lot of potential for treating other types of mutations, other types of even targets, up or down regulation in the eye. They're, they're small, they're very specific, quite stable. The toxicity has been historically low for other targets. Deliverability is high. They're very easy to make. We can make them very quickly. Um, so that, and there's been a lot of really recent fantastic success, successes with different diseases, spinal muscular atrophy, um, muscular dystrophy, myotonic dystrophy, and some others that are reaching the clinical trials and even into the clinic. And for the eye, in fact, ISIS, which I work with, they had their first um, FDA-approved drug many years ago now is actually um, to, try, to treat CMV retinitis. So they have some proof that um, the ASOs in the eye are gonna be um, useful if we can just identify targets and treatment approaches. And this, I'm just gonna end with this because this is something that just recently came out in Nature Medicine about some kids that, um, this little girl that has SMA and she just got um, treated with the ISIS um, ASO to treat SMA and uh, I just put it there for the hope that someday we'll get our ASOs into, into kids with Usher syndrome or other forms of RP. Thank you.